Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother fu It's uh, Friday, the 17th of January, 2020. And you're watching coptalk.tv. Right. And it's not the morning. It's 1.30pm. Mm. How the devil are you? You alright, guys? Yeah, good one. Don't forget, uh, I, uh, I had a podcast go live last night. For those of you that are interested, uh, just go to coptalkpodcast.com if you want to subscribe. Um, three episodes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 4pm UK time, so it's a regular thing. And if you support the podcast via coptalkpodcast.com, you get the Friday episode at 4pm UK time as well. And that's the one I'm keeping all the extra bits in, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, guys, um, how you doing? You alright? Listen, I'm going to uh, review the uh, the rumours today, today's transfer rumours, paper talk, etc, etc, etc. Uh, I have not looked at any of these just yet. I've just come into my studio, and uh, I've literally just opened the, um, the, the 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 browser. You know what I mean? Uh, I will be live tonight on here on CopTalk.tv at seven p.m. UK time. Right, guys. Uh, let's just uh, make sure we're not reading from any publications we don't want to. Right, starting with the Manchester Evening News. Well, I'm not sure I want to read from them. Anyway, uh, Man United will be offered the chance to sign PSG and Uruguay forward Edinson Cavani, 32 for free in the summer. But I've been told he is not available this month. Uh, Chelsea are favourites to sign uh, Timo Werner now after the 23-year-old said he wanted to test himself in the Premier League. Um, we've seen him linked with Liverpool uh, on and off for some time. Very interesting situation there. I'd love to see him uh, signed, to be honest. Manchester United have been linked with him as well, but today's reports, these are originating from Germany, by the way, um, are uh, you know suggesting uh, Chelsea being favourites. Those quotes, I think, came out yesterday uh, where he was talking about the Premier League, but hinting about a possible move to the Premier League, but that was the sort of the suggestion in the headlines. But when you actually read the quotes, I don't think it was so much like, like that, really. Um, would you be interested in him? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. You know me, if you watch my uh, videos uh, frequently on here, you'll know that in, in, it feels like every transfer window for the last couple of years, I've always thought, he might end up at Liverpool, you know. But nothing has ever materialised. Right, in the Tory graph, the Telegraph, uh, Inter Milan have submitted... An opening bid of £13 million for 27-year-old Tottenham Hotspur and Denmark midfielder Christian Eriksen. He's out of contract in the summer, uh, making a move now in January. What do you think about that? Quite a few Liverpool fans have been um, thinking about him. and Some of you guys have been uh, raising it with me, you know. Great player, £13 million. How's about that, man? That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Daily Mail, Leicester City lining up. Uh, Southampton left back Ryan Bertrand, 30, is a potential re uh, replacement for fellow England international Ben Chilwell. The 23 year old Foxes defender has been linked with a move to Chelsea. Ryan Bertrand, I think he was linked with Liverpool years and years and years ago. I can't remember. Do you remember that? He's 30 now. That's why I said years and years and years ago. Uh, but maybe I'm imagining that one. The Metro. Like a bit of speculation, does the Metro. Manchester City remain keen on keeping Germany forward. Leroy Saint. Do you, do you pronounce it Saint or Sane? Do you know what I mean? I, like, I, I want to pronounce it Sane. I'd love a Sane. I had bread for ages. Anyway, who has been linked with a move to Bayern Munich and have not given up hope of convincing the 24-year-old to sign a new contract? Mm, a lot of people think he will leave. What do you think, guys? That's in the Metro Press Association. Uh, are stating that I have to be careful with this one because a, a certain newspaper has touched on it but according to this it originates from the Press Association so I'm going to go with it and it says Tottenham and England striker Harry Kane 26 has been told by one of you by one of the UK's leading surgeons that he will probably miss Euro 2020 that's a blow for England if you are you know uh, interested in the three lines look I've got to be honest I hate international breaks I don't like friendlies I do like the Euros and I do like the World Cup so that is a blow um, I, I'm looking forward to the Euros this year, and to be honest, I, you know, I, I it had completely slipped uh, my my memory that we were even, you know, that that was coming round. It was only because I, I saw about it the other day, but we're starting to see more and more uh, mentions of it. So, are you looking forward to the Euros? Uh, let me know. Um, right, this one is uh, originating from uh, Portugal. Uh, the Daily Mirror touched on it, saying that uh, this is about Bruno Fernandes. 
I don't need to explain to you who he is. Could be in the stands for Man United's trip to Liverpool on Sunday as talks continue over a potential £50 million move to Old Trafford. On, off, on, off, on, off that one. Uh, and uh, he probably will end up there, I think. Liverpool heavily linked with him in the past, tried to sign him. You know, there was, uh, I can't remember how long ago it was now, uh, but you will know who he is. Uh, I'm just glad that hasn't gone through ahead of this weekend's game. Uh, I did touch on that actually about him being at Liverpool in the Cop Talk podcast, I think. Did I tell you? CopTalkPodcast.com. Every weekday at 4 pm, go and subscribe, subscribe free right now. Okay, uh, again, we're talking about reports from Portugal. This is that Tottenham manager Jose Mourinho has spoken to Man City and Portugal football. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Cancelo? It must be Cancelo. Uh, 25. About a potential move. You know I like pronouncing names. If it's not Jack Daniels or John Smith, I can't do it. Right, Sky Sports. Lille and France, under 21 midfielder. Boubacari Souma. Souma, Souma. You, I think you just watch for them, uh, for the name bits, don't you? He's 20 years old and apparently he's set to decide between signing for Man United or Chelsea before the trip transfer deadline at the end of this month. That's from Sky Sports. Going over the to, uh, going over to the Telegraph, we've got West Brom uh, boss Slavin Bilic ready to offer West Ham United a one and a half million pound loan fee to keep 21 year old England under 20 midfielder Grady Diangana. Yeah, he sounds English. Oh, you're not allowed to say that today. You can't say that today. I need to know. I've never heard of him before in my life. I don't know. Are you allowed to say? You're not allowed to say things like that today, are you? Mm. Uh, definitely not. Uh, let's have a look. Where, where, he was born in D R Congo. There you go. What the? F Hang on a minute. The, 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 the Democratic Republic of the, the Congo. And what does he play for? England under twenty. He's playing for England, is he? Eh? Uh, all right then. Uh, Anyway, I was right then. I was right. I didn't say anything wrong. There you go. All right. Okay. You know how people, you know, people get triggered and offended about all sorts of their guys. They can't even have a fucking joke these days. Um, in the standard, Liverpool. Ooh. Ooh. Liverpool got mentioned. Will not embark on a warm weather training camp this February with Jurgen Klopp opting for an alternative approach as he will give his players a week off training. There have been suggestions that he might come out to Spain. Uh, during that little break, this new break and all that. But, uh, you know, we know this. This is a few days old now, a couple of days old, I think, uh, as discussed uh, on coptalk.com and the Coptalk podcast, I think. Uh, Juventus and Germany midfielder Emre Can has ruled out a potential move to Manchester United because of his connections with his former club, Liverpool. That, those reports are coming from Italy. They are old. They have been discussed previously. Uh, they're obviously just, I don't know, I, I know for a fact I've discussed it this week and we've discussed him previously. I do, I, I discussed him on coptalk.tv because someone made a comment uh, yesterday in the live stream. Oh, so maybe it was a live stream, I can't remember. Um, but I don't think he would show any loyalty to Liverpool if he had an opportunity to, to join Manchester United. Do you think that? I don't think he would. Uh, the Sheffield Star, this is going to be big news, guys. Celtic, Derby County, Leeds United, Leeds, 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 Super Leeds, and Nottingham Forest, Dirty Leeds, all right, uh, are all interested in signing Sheffield United's English striker, Billy Sharp, 33, but the player is the choice to stay at the club if he wants. Billy Sharp, that's like, uh, I want to know, I, I, I know the name, I, I'm just going to get his, uh, his Wikipedia up, calm down, calm down, let's have a look. Billy Sharp, that is a really cool name, I like the name Billy Sharp, right? And he was born in Sheffield. So Billy Sharp is the kind of name, I think, that you would you could imagine being in a football movie, couldn't you, about that local footballer doing good sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Especially the fact that he comes from Sheffield is exactly the point I'm trying to make. Billy Sharp, yeah. Come on, Billy, lad. Go on, Billy. You know, and they'd make them, them films, no? Okay. Um, so anyway, they've said that those what them clubs, Celtic, Derby, Leeds, Knox Forest, uh, all interested in in him. He's thirty three, but the player has the choice to stay at the club if he wants. Uh, Telegraph: Man City want to beat Barcelona to the signing of Spain under nineteen midfielder Ivan Morante. Uh, he is nineteen. Who plays for Villarreal B? 
The Times are reporting that European football's leaders are close to an agreement to expand the Champions League by four extra games each season. I don't like the sound of that, guys. Uh, Klopp will be absolutely raging and uh, the Premier League won't be too happy either. The Mirror, what are they saying? Aston Villa have been linked with a move for France midfielder Stephen Enzonzi, 31, former Blackburn and Stoke player, is on loan at Galatasaray from Roma. Sky Sports, AC Milan are considering a move for Wigan Athletics, 22-year-old United States left-back Antony Robinson and Hart Scottish defender Aaron Hickey, 17. This uh, is, these reports are from Italy, the agent of Matteus Vecino, 28, has dismissed speculation the Inter Milan and Uruguay midfielder is set to move to Everton. Well, Vecino, Italy, there is a sort of associate, it doesn't matter. Times, Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta has accused the football authorities of disregarding player safety with the club facing the possibility of an FA Cup replay during next month's winter break. Disregarding player safety. I'll give it a fucking this. Always, always mourning these fucking foreign managers, aren't they, guys? They're always mourning, Klopp included. Get on with it, you got a fucking squad. Squad! You know what I'm saying, guys? Come on, man. Man up, man. The issue of scrapping FA Cup replays will be discussed by the Football Association Professional Game Board on Monday. Uh, and an FA board meeting this month, also in the Times, Daily Mail. Former Arsenal midfielder Patrick Vieira says he did not have talks about taking over as Gunners boss after the sacking of Unai Emery. And his, 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 his focus is on managing French club Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nicky, nice, 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 nice. Uh, Newcastle Chronicle. Fog on the tiny is all mine, all mine. Fog on the tiny is all mine. Come on! Newcastle United have been told that former Everton and England under 21 winger Adamola Lukman is not available for loan. The 22-year-old is now playing for German side RB Leipzig, but has struggled for game time. In the Express, terrible, terrible, terrible newspaper for fucking sport and news. Uh, Celtic boss, oh, here we go. Uh, Neil Lennon faces a transfer battle with Leeds United manager Marcello Bielsa in the January window for the signature of Man City's English winger Ian Poveda, 19. Uh, now then, The Athletic, they're reporting that Aston Villa will have to pay more than £20 million for 23-year-old English forward Jared Bowen from Old City. Bournemouth and Bosnia-Herzegovina goalkeeper Azmir Begovic, 32, has joined, who has joined AC Milan on loan, will evaluate, it says, his future at the end of the season. That's in the Bournemouth Echo. All right, guys? Now, I'm just going to pop over to uh, Sky Sports, see if they've got anything uh, additional. They've got Arsenal in talks to sign Livin Kurtzawa, PSG left back. Uh, that's in the Daily Telegraph. Uh, we touched on Christian Eriksen. We touched on that. We touched on that. Uh, right, Daily Mail. Jose Mourinho is in line for a £2 million bonus if he can steer Tottenham into next season's Champions League. The money's ridiculous, isn't it, guys? Uh, Leicester are bracing themselves for Ben Chilwell's departure to Chelsea next summer and have identified Ryan Bertrand of Southampton as a potential replacement. Um, Jurgen Klopp cleared up uh, Mane and S Ma Mane's row with Salah in August by holding separate talks with the players. The German has revealed. Uh, Sporting Lisbon convinced Bruno Fernandes is worth more than his current market value amid interest from Man United. Uh, he thinks the player is worth more. Barcelona have been forced to admit defeat in their quest to land unsettled Juventus defender Matthias De Ligt this summer thanks to Italy's new tax scheme. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Daily Mail. That's All that stuff's in the Daily Mail there. And I'm just thinking, we were obviously interested in De Ligt, weren't we? But he was obviously very motivated by money, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually true, guys. I didn't know he was unsettled, though. Maybe he isn't. Maybe that's just nonsense. But there you go. Uh, Bundesliga clubs are circling... Manchester City's winger Jaden Braff. Braff, Braff, in a sustained pursuit of young talent in England. Ah, we all like a bit of young talent in England. What I mean by that, right, is you've got to be, you got to, be, look, right, what I mean by young talent is I'm 45 now, so young to me is 30, you know what I'm saying, guys, all right? Just fucking chill your brow. Don't be starting that shit with me. Daily Mirror, Marcus Rashford is prepared to play through the pain barrier to face Man United's arch rivals Liverpool. Good, because we'll fuck him up anyway. David Moyes has not given up on Ross Barkley as he bids to add quality to his West Ham side before the window closes. 
Moving on to the ever, ever, ever reliable Daily Star. Real Madrid star Isco will not make a decision on his future until after Euro 2020. Thomas Lamar has decided to put speculation around his future to bed and stay at Atletico Madrid, despite rumours linking him with some top Premier League teams. Uh, away we go. Chelsea reported the closest signing 17 year old PSG midfielder Kez Ruiz Atil. Uh, Neymar is reportedly ready to commit to his future to PSG, but a deal could be dependent on how far the club progresses in the Champions League this season. Who wants to go and play for PSG? You've got to be a greedy fucker to play for PSG. What a shit league that is, guys. I mean, seriously. And it's France. Come on, guys. Who, who wants to go to France? You know what I'm saying? Leeds are reportedly set to make uh, a bid to sign Aston Villa transfer target Jared Bowen from Hull. I think we mentioned that. Guardian Oliver Gerald looks set to leave Giroud Jack. You know what I mean? Looks set to leave Chelsea this week after Inter increased their bid for the French forward to 4.3 million, while a loan move for West from West Ham for Ross Barkley has been rejected. Uh, the Times touching on this Bruno Fernandez stuff and United again saying that they've so far failed to agree a fee, despite agreeing terms for the player. Uh, Daily Express claim that Bayern Munich have pulled out of the race to sign with Timo Werner, although uh, alerting Liverpool, Manu and Chelsea that the striker will decide his next move by April. Steven Gerrard gets a mention in the Daily Record. Apparently he's told rival clubs to forget about landing his star men as none of them will be sold during the January window. OK, guys, that just about sums up uh, today's paper talk, transfer rumours, etc, etc. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're one of them fuckers that don't like me. And because uh, <laughs> I like that. And um, yeah, drop me, a, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoy my channel and you want to support me, click on join below the video. Get involved and become a part of my squad. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right.